Hi and welcome to Click Team and in today's video we've got so close and yet so far because we've managed to make it responsive, it's absolutely brilliant, it will work on any device as long as it's not like so small that like it's two pixels across, I don't think it will work on that. It technically would but it just wouldn't be a very good, good game to play on it. But then again when you've got a device that's two pixels wide, are there any games, maybe like Tetris, I don't know. Maybe very easy Tetris, isn't it? Because every time you put it down, it will make a line. Anyway, uh, rambling over, um, today we're going to fix a problem that came up yesterday. And it's a problem that's so easy to fix. It's just about knowing where to go. And you'll probably see me stumbling about trying to find where it is for about 10 minutes. Hopefully not. Um, but I'll probably get there straight away. I don't know. Have confidence in oneself. But that's when we resized, it didn't resize as we were resizing. Um, it waited for me to release the mouse key and then it resized it. And this is just about tidying up because when I'm testing it, I actually want to see what it does along the way. Um, I don't want to just test it at that resolution, drag my mouse out and then let go and then test it at that. I want to see what it does. I want to see when the breakpoints are. I want to see when the menu needs to be shrunk. And, and it's all about like, I, I do a lot of website design and that's what I'm doing all the time is just making the window smaller and finding what we call breakpoints, which is points where the menu just is not going to fit anymore, that the menu is designed for desktop. When does it switch to kind of tablet mode where all of the words go away and just are replaced with icons because there's just not enough real estate on the screen to show them all. That's enough talking, so let's get to it. So um, this is the same application we've been using all the time. Um, and what I'm going to do is just show again really briefly what I'm talking about. So here the player is not in the middle, so it's not done anything. When I let go, everything's working perfectly. Here you get this horrible white border, and when I let go, everything works perfectly. So the game itself is working really well, but if you notice, nothing happens when I'm scrolling. And I'm going to demonstrate that now, because what I'm going to do is scroll, but I'm going to click down. and just nothing works in the game. In fact, the entire game freezes. So I don't know whether I can do this. If I click down and then scroll really quickly. There we go. So you can see here, I've clicked down. So the game wants the player to move down. That's what that we've coded this so far this time. Okay. So the player is desperate to move down. It's halfway through its down phase. But when I resize, everything stops. All the code stops. It completely finishes. So it almost doesn't, it doesn't like, it's, it's like um, on Xbox, PlayStation or Switch when you go to the home menu, like the entire game freezes. And as soon as you go back in, you go exactly to the point you were at before you click that button. But then when we release, it continues the player movement. So everything started again and I can walk around, etc. We don't want that. Okay, we don't want that. There are reasons why you would want that. Um, I have no idea what, but I'm sure there are. Um, but we don't want that. So where do we go? A lot of things are actually in this bit here. So your project. So if you click on that, and this is the bit here where I go searching. It's it's I think it's the first one or the second one. Ah, it's, it's the it's the third one I should say. The runtime options. If I click on that, and it's this one here. Run while resizing click on that. Now there's also an option here that says run when minimized. That means if you've got a music player or something and you're running it and the, and the user of your music player wants to still listen to music when it's minimized, the music stops and you can't hear it anymore. And you're like, well, hang on. What? And then it starts again. So if you ever need to build an application, you probably want it running when minimized. Well, the downside to that are um, Sometimes when people minimize some applications, it's because they don't want it to be using the uh, the um, kind of RAM in the machine um, and taking up like resources on your computer. And that's why that's unticked by default. And all this other lovely gubbins is all about, you know, what your um, application will use. Um, and there's some compatibility issues with this. So if you've got um, Direct, uh, um, Direct 3D 11, um, you might need to downgrade that um, for use in some um, computers, but um, they most modern ones we use Direct 3D 11, for instance, and then you've got VSync and all this stuff. 
So if you are testing it on different computers and you realize that actually, you know, a five-year-old PC can't run your application, then you might need to f kind of fiddle with this stuff. I, I very seldom do. Um, there are some quite important stuff like do not stop screensaver and input and all that stuff. Um, and if you, uh, we're not going to go into sub applications um, at all in this series, but they are really useful if you're building an application. And there are some really good uses I've used for them. And they do, do get frustrating because they're a kind of walled garden and it's very difficult to share data between them. But um, it says do not share data if you run a sub application, but they're still not easy to use. But anyway, I'm rambling. So I've just clicked that button, go into application. And when I resize now, hopefully works perfectly now the reason it's not scrolling is that it's it's met the edge here but it will start scrolling now and you notice i'm actually holding down and changing everything to grass which is quite irritating but we'll fix that later on and let's do this one as well perfect and that's going to be really useful it's going to be really useful when we're testing it later on and this is why you don't <laughs> you don't build your maps first because obviously I, I'm still clicking in the application and so it's changing everything to grass. You imagine if I spent ages on these graphics and it's just deleting them all. So always spend the time on the game play and make sure everything works first and then spend time on graphics and level layout and stuff. But yeah, that works absolutely perfect. And if I enlarge it, if I shrink it, now, if I if I try and be clever here and do the same thing as I did before, so if I click down and then stretch it out, see it still absolutely works fine. And it's just one of those things that you don't think you need to know about until you run into a problem or one of the people you've given your game or application to says, hang on, this isn't working in this way. I'd expect it to work like this. Um, and you genuinely don't know where to go. Normally the place to go is clicking here and start looking through these bits here. Um, and there's some really useful stuff in there, um, which we're going to go on to later. Please comment if you have any other kind of comments to make this week or suggestions and stuff. Um, I'm going on to my second bonus video. We did the um, scrolling like Mega Man before, but I've had a really good idea for... Um, another kind of bonus video which I normally release at the weekend um, and that came from a comment from someone um, and yeah I'm really looking forward to doing it so please contribute more let, um, let me know and I can go through some videos thank you very much thank you very much for watching this video if you want to see more from us please click subscribe we release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time thank you